to welcome back to another video man i know i haven't been recording in a long time i've been sick and like battling this sickness for like a couple days now i don't think i was crazy sick i think it was just my allergies and then, and then like kind of like kicked the gear a little bit you know what i'm saying i started coughing a lot i was really congested and like my head was hurting i tried to take medicine throughout those days but like it was just like it was just not working today man we feel better man i still got a little cough but it's nothing crazy it's just like here and there but still blessed that you know, feel me that we, we we feeling good today that we can go to the gym and uh and really get this workout and so and i want to give y'all guys my insight especially younger guys that are in high school and that are in college you know specifically like the D2, D3 JUCO level, or maybe if you're not even in college, or maybe if you're in college and you want to play football, and you don't play football currently at your school. Uh, just I'm, I'm gonna give you guys some advice that you know what I'm saying I, I saw you know as a rookie going into my first professional uh, training camp. So. Um, I think like me giving y'all my advice, I feel like what I saw, what I experienced, I think that's gonna really hit home to some of you guys, especially give you guys some, some insight on, on how to make a professional team or how to, you know, be able to adjust to the playing, playing atmosphere, especially in the pros, because it's a, it's a lot faster and everything's a lot technical. So I think giving my uh, insight to y'all, that's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, a good thing to y'all, so y'all can go and chase y'all dreams, especially if y'all don't have any, you know, potential looks going into the NFL, CFL, things like that. So this is primary for the guys that not D1, you know, in the power five that are, you know what I'm saying, and, and the potential draft stocks and stuff like that. So this is the guys that are the underdogs. I won't say underdogs, but this is the guys that, you know what I'm saying, that are in like the lower school and things like that. So, or maybe in a high school and you don't want to go to college and you want to just go straight to playing for, uh, pro football, you can do that too, um, especially this level. And it's not hard at all. So. Uh, let's get this workout in. I'm gonna catch you guys when we get to the gym. And yeah, man, we got a uh, nice productive day today. And let's get it, man. Right, no. Nice though. I ain't gonna lie. I did far. Whoever did this, bro, y'all went crazy. On my soul. That joint y'all nice though. You know what I'm saying? got done the gym we just got to the crib just got freshened up and all that kind of good stuff ate some breakfast i had protein pancakes so now we're about to tap into the word a little bit got my stuff right here prepared got my pen got my notes and we put a tap in tap in oh snap put a tap into the word a little bit man um i was reading proverbs so we probably just gonna continue reading that our first thing as far as like my advice to the younger athletes specifically for the athletes that are like you know on the d3 level you know juco level or maybe even high school that's not going to college or maybe not even in college you know what i'm saying you graduate high school you're not in college man the thing that i took uh took from when i you know when i was in my professional training camp was that ego that ego stuff that you know what i'm saying we had when we was in high school and college where we was like more than like 
like one of the best on the team, whatever. Whatever ego y'all have, man, you gotta toss it in the trash, man. Especially getting to this level, you know, the professional level, any pro level, you gotta toss that ego out the trash, bro, because you're competing against guys that are just, that been there for a few years. You know, you got vets that been there for like six, seven years, you know, that just know the system. They've been pros for like seven years. You the guys that were actually in the NFL, CFL, or even higher up in the arena league that, you know, just came down to play just to get some film to be able to go back up to that level. So you got those guys, you know, the, the veterans that they walk in there and they know that, you know, some guys coming in as rookies that are, you know, that are talented. They're, they know that their spot is not really guaranteed, but they they have such, you know, humbling, you know, egos, humbling personalities to where like they just, they just know, they just got it. You feel what I'm saying? They got it. The, the speed, the agility, the twitchiness that they have and their footwork and stuff like that. They got it, bro. And it's like, I went into camp. I was just, my ego was out the door, you know, to begin with. I don't really have an ego. You know, I just play ball and I may talk smack, you know what I'm saying, here and there, but I just play ball, man. I just enjoy what I do. When I first got into camp, bro, it was like, it was like a welcoming feeling. Like it was nobody on the team to where I was just like, yo, like this dude, man, he just, he just not it, bro. He just think, you feel me? He, he, he missed a guy at all. But it wasn't ever like that, bro. Like it was always, you know, good, good energy. You know what I'm saying? They welcome me in like, just like normal family would, you feel me? So that's the one main thing I, I, I would take away. That's the first thing I'll take away, man. It's just that ego. The ego gotta go. Man, I don't care if you five star out of high school, all these offers, man, they got some dogs on, on these teams, bro. They got dogs, bro. They got dogs that even go to college straight out of high school or not even, yeah, they straight out of high school or, or dogs that are, that are just out on the street, you know, they, they just came and try out and yeah, bro, they got some dogs, bro. So all that five star stuff, man, that gets out, the, that, that gets out the window, bro. Throw that out the window, man. Like all that ranking in high school stuff, man. Go on there, you know, with a high ego and your ego, act like your ego don't stink. Like, like you don't, you feel me? Like you just all that, like don't, don't go in there doing that stuff, bro. So really go in there humble and work hard, bro. That's all the coaches look for is work hard and effort, man. If you got those, if you got those three, man. You got, you, you humble and you work hard and, and, and you, you put an effort, man. You coachable. I promise you, bro. You're going to have a successful season, bro. You're going to have a successful season and you compete, bro, because a lot of guys on the team that, you know what I'm saying, they're competing and your spot's not guaranteed. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? I got beat out, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, you know, perform at the high, you know, expectations that I needed to. That's what we're doing right now, man. We just been working and fixing now, fixing the errors that I had to be able to fix those for the next opportunity that comes about. So throw the ego out the trash, stay humble, coachable, work hard and uh, and give 100% effort every single time. You're going to be straight, bro. You're going to be straight. But let me tap into this word right now from me like the day's ticking right now so i gotta get into the word man i got like an hour to get into this word and then probably yeah we're probably gonna take it down you know what i'm saying for a little nap uh before we go to work today at two o'clock yo what is good it's the next morning we actually getting ready right now i better go to the field get some field work in get some footwork in some db drills probably get some sprints in too uh, loosen up the hips a little bit like i said we gotta prepare for this big workout that we have on sunday uh, it was a CFO workout with the Blue Bombers. So if you guys know who they are, look them up. So yeah, man, it's honestly a blessed experience that I'm able to go, you know, work out with them. Uh, it's actually close to my home. So it was in Philly. It's not too far. It's like maybe like an hour away. Nah, man, it's a blessing. So can't wait to go there. Can't wait to see the talent, compete, man. Just be around like the, just the pros that have been there and just to be able to talk to the organization, the coaches, all that, man. It's just going to be a blessed experience. So uh, leave right now. Go to the field. Um, yeah, yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is why I don't be doing no day in the life, bro. My days in the life be so trash because they be so boring. I do the same thing every single day, bro. Like, every day, every day is literally like a replica of the next day. Like, it's the same thing. That's why I don't be doing the day in the life no more. I don't be doing the come with me, whatever. I don't be doing that, bro. I'm trying to get more. I'm trying to expand more into my content. I'm trying to expand more into putting more effort into my content, putting more thought and putting more strategy into my content. And you know what I'm saying? Making sure you guys, every time you guys watch my video, you guys take something from it, you learn from it, and you apply it to your daily life. I don't want y'all to just click on my video and then I'm taking you guys through a daily life. Of, uh, and it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Wake up, gym, football, eat, whatever. It's the same thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like, Spam. Um, there's not really much going on right now. I can't really take y'all with me to like places. Like, there's not really much going on at all. Like, it's literally nothing going on unless I'm not myself exploring out and seeing what's out there. But yeah, man, my life's been the same thing, repetitive every single day. Hopefully, something's gonna, you know, what I'm saying, pop, and then we can expand with that. So, hopefully, this weekend's gonna be different. But yeah, but if y'all just tap in with the, you know, what I'm saying with the vlogs, and I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We're rap, but. You see, you're getting some gas right now. And then, yeah, we're about to head to the field and get this work in, man. Uh, it's time to dial in.
So I'm gonna get right, man. We got this this workout on Sunday. And yeah, man, this is gonna make or break, you feel me? Either we're gonna sign or we're gonna travel back home and, and get back to the drawing board. But yeah, just I'll uh, put everything in God's hands and let him let him guide me through this process right now. So uh, let's fill up fill up this gas right now and then I'm gonna see how we get to the field. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The best feeling right now, like when we go on the field, bro, and was nobody's on here, bro. Like, this has to be probably the best feeling. Like when you come to go get work in, it's like nobody's on the field. So you pretty much got everything to yourself. Why is there spider webs all around me? Oh, hold on. Fool. But nah, this is the best feeling right now. So I put the camera in. And yeah, I brought my helmet out. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I train with it on. And sometimes I don't. But it's honestly beneficial to train with a helmet on. Just because it gets the games like the game time simulation effect. I don't know, man. I think it, honestly, I think it helps and it does help. It does help and doesn't help. So it really varies on your preference. But I don't know. I'm probably going to train with it today just to have it on. But I ain't put it on in a long time. So, but I'm going to show y'all my setup real quick, man. I don't think I ever seen. I don't think I showed y'all my my helmet setup. So, like you see, we got the F7. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the, the sleeves, the visor. You got like a blue, bluish tint, like a bluish like a rainbow tint to it. So this is what I wore when I was in Nebraska. Well, I wore the visor when I was in Nebraska, but the F7, and I got the, the fat mouthpiece right here. This is the goaded mouthpiece. If you don't got this, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, this is the inside. So let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, all my athletes and my football players. I'd rather the F7 or I'd rather the Speed Flex. Me personally, I don't know. I started to like the F7 when I started wearing it, but the Speed Flex honestly has my heart still, so. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all guys think, man. Let's get to this work, man. We're probably gonna be here for like an hour. I don't wanna be here too long, but hour tops is probably like the best to do like when you're working on hour tops. You don't wanna go no, nothing too crazy over an hour to where you're gonna prevent an injury, tear something, pull something, and fatigue your muscles and things like that. And then, yeah, that pretty much just causes the injury. You don't wanna go too crazy, so an hour, an hour and a half is probably like the range that you need to work around and you're gonna get the most work at an hour. So, but yeah, let's get to it, man. I'm gonna stretch, get a nice little dynamic stretch in, get some line work right here. And then, yeah, man, let's get to it. Now we're gonna pick it up a little bit. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, that was some really good work, man. Some really good work, some really good work that uh, we just, some really good work that we just uh, got done, man. I don't think I was out there for too long, probably like an hour, I ain't gonna lie, but we got some real good work in. Like, you know it's good work, Take you take, hold on fool. Come on, bro. You know it's good work when like every single second, every single minute like counts. Like you make that, you make every single minute of that time that you spend outside on the field, you make it count. And like I was, I was productive. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the whole hour, so just learning, like just going over some stuff. That, you know what I'm saying? I need help on. Like a lot of y'all don't know, I switch positions. Well, I'm still a DB, but I, I moved to sit like primary safety just because I like to come down, and hit, make a play, and I got really good ball skills. So and plus my height, I'm not really that tall. So in this league in the pro leagues man like they got receivers at six five six six so let's, let's keep it in reality like you don't really see a corner that's like five eight five nine lined up on the outside you feel me so especially in the league a lot of those guys that are like five five eight five nine sometimes five ten they play safety you know what i'm saying when you have some corners that are five ten five eleven that you know that play corner it all depends it pretty much all depends on your scheme of the defense all depends on you know what your coaches feel like you you play the best at so uh, we're gonna be sticking that safety for now. So we gotta learn that, 
learn the position. So I'm just going over some stuff, going over some reads, going over some, you know, breaks, stuff like that, and be able to uh, picture what I would see, you know, as a safety or like what I've learned playing defense. So but yeah, man, I'm about to go grab something to eat real quick. I grab me a little chicken sandwich or some fries, get some carbs in me, you feel me? Go home, shower, rest up, man. We got work at 2.30, and then yeah. So we got, you know what I'm saying, a couple hours to relax. So definitely got out, got out here, got some work in. Definitely got time to go home and just kick back, you feel me, relax. Uh, yeah, man, let's go on with the day. Whew. One last advice I would say um, during this whole process, man, is the process of like just being patient, bro. This whole time since I've been released from the team, being here, just being home, just watching everybody else, you know, playing and going through the season and stuff like that, bro. Like it's a time where you gotta just be patient, bro. And like put everything through God's hands, bro. Cause everything's through his timing. It's not through your timing. If you're, if you're looking at it through your timing, it ain't, it ain't gonna work like that, bro. It ain't gonna work like that. So you always gotta put, let God, you know, put through his timing. Cause everything's gonna align perfectly how you want it to. You just gotta I trusted him you feel me so this whole time i just gotta be patient and really just wait for that that great opportunity to come once the opportunity comes we just got to make the best of it really go out really go hard stamp on that opportunity so but yeah man that's pretty much it man i hope you guys enjoyed it man i hope you guys take a little bit from this you feel me if you guys are young guys let me know if down down below in the comments if you want another video like this of breaking down my experiences or if you're a young guy that's looking to go to the next level drop me a comment below don't forget to like the video and if you're new make sure you subscribe to the bell on so you don't miss any new videos that i, I drop and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one man we gone